Hello everyone, Happy Panda AJ here. So today I'm doing a little live stream tutorial on how to draw the Penrose Triangle from my first making of a masterpiece video. This is what the final product is going to look like and I'm going to give you kind of a live stream quick tutorial on how to do it. Hopefully it won't last too long and you'll also notice that I kind of revamped my gallery. I tried to organize it a bit more. Most of these are organized by frame, artist, and or just like um, point of the drawing. So these you'll see are kind of scenery, landscapes, blue sky, green grass, and then these are all by nymph. Um, I, yeah, I basically just tried to categorize them, and yeah, so tell me what you think about that. Um, let's check out the chat. We've got Michaela Mercer, hello, and now let's just get right into the tutorial. So first of all, we're going to need to go to the art studio, and basically it's it's just a Penrose Triangle Optical Illusion, so we'll see how this works out. I tend to ramble in my live stream, so hopefully you guys are okay with a little bit of that. What we are going to do first is start with a triangle, and to do that we're just going to use a thin triangle tool and make that. Next up, you're going to want to draw two more triangles in here, and I'm sorry, I'm very laggy right now, so you can probably tell it's going to take me a little while. You guys can follow along on your computer and try to draw this with me, and I'd love to see what it looks like when you guys are all done, so maybe send me your pictures, yeah? Okay, so right here we've got the starting point of our Penrose Triangle. For the next parts, we're going to want to do little things branching off of this. So we're going to start on each point here, and well, this one looks a little bit off, but it's close enough. It doesn't really matter completely. And now that we've got that, we're going to want to make the next one. Okay, if this one's going this way, sorry, I have to think about this, guys. Um, this one is going to go down right like that and you'll want to kind of make it seem like an extension of the line it's almost as if this line is continuing down and then this line is going to go to the side okay i'm going to redo that one because it didn't really turn out quite so well and um, the reason i'm doing this is originally i had asked if you want um if you would want to see like a tutorial of this and I got a lot of responses saying yes, and I never really got around to it. And I kind of figured that it was basic enough that people could kind of figure it out by watching the video. But it is actually a little more tricky than that. So I figured I would finally get around to doing that. And now for the inside, you'll see that this one inner triangle going up, it matches this one here. This one going down is going to match the one right down there. So it, it follows a pattern. Hopefully you can kind of see that. And this is what it's going to look like for now. Uh, let's see if I can just get this last line in here. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect because this is the first rough sketch of it. Now you're going to want to go and um, get rid of the extra lines. So right here, you're going to want to race between those two lines. And right um, here, you're also going to want to erase. And right here. So I'm just making these little markings so I know where to erase it. And um, then you can follow along and try to make these as well. I think this is the easiest way to do it, but if you guys think you can do it better or faster in a different way, you guys can absolutely do that as well. I'm going to be checking the chat every so often, so if you want to put some feedback or questions in there, I can answer those questions. Um, I'm actually going to check it right now. Oh, we've got a lot of people in the chat. Oh, hi, everybody. Um, hopefully, you guys kind of can follow along with this. Um, so far, what we've done is we've drawn the three triangles and we've drawn the baselines for our Penrose Triangle Optical Illusion. This is a very basic masterpiece, but when it's done, it does wind up looking pretty cool, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I actually have a question. Can you hear me? I feel really dumb if I'm going to be talking throughout the stream and you can't hear me. I'm going to ask that right now. Um, can you guys hear me? Okay. So now we're going to use our paint bucket tool because I just find this is like the most useful tool in this art studio. It fills up the paint, the spaces very quickly, and it's super easy to use if I can just get it in the right place. So now the next part we're going to do kind of depends on what color you want your Penrose triangle to wind up being. And for mine, I did it blue. And so I figure I'm just going to do that again, unless you guys have another suggestion. So, okay, thank you. Uh, they can hear me. That's good. So what color 
Should I make it? Okay, so guys, tell me right now, what color should I make the triangle? Because right now I've got the blank thing. Again, these little pieces here, you're not gonna be able to see these in um, when I'm done with it, because this is just the first little sketch. Don't worry, if it's not perfect, it won't matter too much at the end, it won't be very visible. Okay, we've got one vote for blue. Um, any other colors? Okay, we've got pink and red. Okay, anything else? Uh, red maybe, okay, so we've got two kind of pink slash red things. Um, we can do basically like red, green, blue, purpley, pink, whatever, anything in there. Um, I'm getting a lot of reds. I'm sorry, blue. Blue is my favorite color. I would like to do blue as well. But for this one, I'm just going to do red because I'm getting mostly red and pinks. So let's do that now. Basically, what you're going to want is a dark color, a medium color, and a light color. So we're going to start off with our dark color. I'm going to do a magenta because that's kind of like in the middle. We're going to start out with a nice dark magenta. And then we'll go to this medium color. And I'll see if I can get a nice one there. And then we're going to want a pretty light one as well for the top. Um, maybe not this light. How about that? Does that look good, everybody? I think that looks okay. So for the dark one, we're going to put it right. I believe it's heat. Wait, I need to think about this. Okay, I think the light color goes here. So we're going to put the light color here on this um, kind of upside down seven shape here. And then the medium color is going to go right here. And then the darker color is going to go down here. And now we can kind of see the illusion taking place, right? Before it just looked like a bunch of white spots in a triangle. And now it actually looks a bit more like the Penrose Triangle optical illusion. Now we're going to go back to our black tool and we're, sorry, our black color, and we are going to use the triangle tool. Now, this is a part that I find very interesting. Normally, I would do the big triangle with this tool and the little triangle, but I found it works out better if you only outline the big triangle. So for this, you'll notice I'm using a thicker brush just to cover up all these little imperfections. You'll notice when I first did the rough sketch of it, I didn't really do it perfectly because I wanted to do it kind of quickly. So this is the part where if you use a thicker brush, maybe I'd recommend this one, you can make it look cleaner and nicer and it just winds up looking a lot better in the end. So right now, I'm going to be tracing the outside triangle with that. And this is if you want a line, I guess you don't have to do this part, but I think it looks better if you do. Now we're going to be doing our line tool. And for this, you'll notice I'm going to do this one first. Um, sorry for the lag, guys. Yes, I see all of your messages in chat, and I love hearing your feedback. So thank you. Keep talking. I love seeing it. Um, we're going to go all the way down to here. And hopefully this is going to wind up looking OK. And now we're going to move it over across to here. And you'll notice that I didn't just stop there. I went all the way to the middle. And now I'm going to go over here, up to there, and down. Maybe I should have chosen a slightly smaller brush. That wasn't really the best choice of mine. Maybe use this, um, this point, guys. That one might be a little bit nicer and cleaner. But yeah, I didn't really save this between takes because I've, I'm totally a master at it, guys. Um, whoops, that one doesn't look quite right. And now we are just about finished with our Penrose Triangle. Of course, you can add anything you want in the background. So I don't know, it doesn't look perfect because I didn't really work that hard on it. But if you want, you can kind of straighten out the lines. Oh, whoops. You can kind of straighten out the lines over at the edges with your small brush here and maybe like get rid of these little black spots here because they kind of stick out and they're not really all that pretty. But yeah, so this is an optical illusion because normally it wouldn't be able to do all of these. You'll see that it kind of wraps in along itself. So it is an optical illusion. And now for the background, there are a lot of different things you can do. You could just color it all in one color. You could leave it white, which I find is the easiest way to do it. But let's just see how this turned out. So yeah, let's look at the new phantom frame. Again, I can't turn this into a masterpiece because as you can see, I'm on my non-member account. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you how to draw the Penrose Triangle. And uh, yeah, so I'd like you guys to tell me what you think of this. And then, of course, for all of you that wanted blue, which I think was one of them, uh, one of you in the chat and me, I'm going to change this right into blue. And to do that, I'm going to take a dark blue, a medium blue, and a light blue. Maybe not that light. Uh, 
that looks about right. So now I'm going to take this and turn it blue and blue and blue. So you see how easy it is to just change the colors. Maybe if you want to make a different color, like you try it out in one color, but then you think, oh, it doesn't look quite right. It's super easy to switch the colors after you're done. And yeah, so basically you want the dark color on the bottom. Um, I'm going to call these sevens because they kind of look like sevens. You want the darkest color on the bottom seven, the medium color over here, and the lighter color at the upper one. So I think that's pretty easy to follow, and I'd love to see all of your amazing artwork. So for all of you who are following along at home on how to draw this Penrose Triangle, send me your art, guys. I want to see it. I would love to see it, and I will make a compilation. Uh, what did I just say? Um, you guys know what I mean. I'm very tired. I'm sorry. So basically, I will make a little album of it, and I'll post it on G+, and then we can all look at all of your different arts, all of the amazing artwork out there. So yeah, I think this is pretty much done. And then no masterpiece is finished without putting your signature on it. So I'm not going to do that because my signature takes too long. But yeah, let's just see what the finished product looks like. I think it looks pretty nice, pretty snazzy for an optical illusion. Um, again, I didn't like work super hard on this, so you guys can probably make it better. Um, again, this was just kind of a fast one. But yeah, so let's send this to AJHQ, everybody. Yes. And then... I think I'll be streaming again. I'm going to start a new stream because I'm going to post this one. And then I think I'm just going to stream to talk with you guys because I like talking with you guys. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you all so much for watching. And stay tuned because I'm going to start another stream because this went very quickly. Okay, um, I'm starting a new stream in a few minutes. Anyways, for all of you that were watching just this Penrose Triangle video, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial helps you, and I would again love to see all of your Penrose Triangles. Just link me on Google Plus or send a picture through Hangouts. I am always accepting of new Hangouts messages, so yeah, can't wait to see your new art. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.